Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Vlog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal channel. And today, on this hopefully sunny Sunday, I have a very chill video for you. We are going to do some envelope decorating and I'm actually going to give you some tips and tricks on how to decorate envelopes very easily. So, let's get straight into it. The first thing, as you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to give you multiple steps and then you can choose um, in which way your envelope ends up. You don't have to make it the same as me. You don't have to make it vintage either. You can totally do this in a cutesy style. The first thing you're going to do for this super easy envelope tutorial, envelope decorating tutorial, is find a background paper. Now, as you can see, I'm going in a little bit of a vintage direction, so I'm choosing a vintage book page. But for this, you could choose any type of paper that has some sort of a simple design but isn't too distracting from the rest of the envelope. So. You could go for vintage paper like I am, music note paper, even map pages would be great, or craft paper. Craft paper is that brown paper you usually get from packaging. Simple design paper, even napkin or tissue paper. I mean, go crazy, as long as it's not too distracting, I would say. You can also choose to go for two pieces of paper and combine them together, but this works just as well with simply one. The next thing you're going to look for, I'm going to glue everything down in a second, of course. Um, the next thing or the next element for this is the address label because I have quite a lot of text on my background paper. I'm going to look for a simple grid so that it stands out for the mailman to read. Um, again, there are multiple things you could use for this, a scrap of paper, a note, or um, a sticky note like I'm doing here, project life cards, address labels, of course, any type of sticker would probably work as long as you can write on it. So something that stands out, I love using simple things like this grid or sticky note that I got from Note and Wish in the stationery box. I will link the, if I remember, I will link the unboxing from that stationery box down below. Not sponsored, just I like using these goodies. And the third thing you are going to do, so three simple elements, background paper and note paper for your address label. And then third thing is going to be your focal, focal point, focus point, basically one thing or two things, if you like, that is going to grab the attention. So for this, I would use an illustration or a decoration or um, even a quote card could work like a quote card and make that the eye catcher basically so what i'm going to use as my eye catcher is kind of small so i'm kind of deciding to go for two eye catchers sort of sorry for my head again um i have chosen to go with that beautiful vintage image that i cut out from like a leaf something because i loved its simplicity i love how cute and tiny it is and i thought it would work quite well and then i'm going to add another kind of focal focus point a little bit like now you don't have to do this third step or fourth step actually uh you can totally skip this but my paper wasn't wide enough for the envelope so i have decided to uh, put some strips of washi tape to cover up the part of the envelope that was left bare even if your paper is long enough this is kind of a fun look if you ask me it just sort of frames the envelope and adds a pop of color oh by the way i don't know if you realized but the paper i have decided to use is green or at least the print on the paper is green i think that's very cool i've never seen a book like this i found it at my grandma's house and instead of black and white it's green and white which instantly makes a fun start for your project as <laughs> a start of an, a fun base i should say then i am going to add some little touches so nothing big like the die or the the illustration but just some small things and uh, what i'm doing here sorry it's out of frame but i'm adding little strips of washi tape just to fill in the background a little bit these are all washi tapes from the note and wish box again i just decided to work with those goodies since i already had them on my desk 
but for little touches you could use anything from washi tape to stickers or paper strips or even what I love doing if my printer wasn't so busy is stamping making a little background uh, making your background a little bit more interesting again stickers are from note and wish this is not sponsored um, I just thought they all went nicely with the green paper and as you can see, I changed my mind. I stuck the washi tape down on the front at first and then I didn't like it. So I just stuck it down on the back so that I wouldn't waste it. Normally I don't decorate the back, but hey, if I have leftover washi, why not? And then you already saw me hint at it, but the second big eye catcher is going to be a wax seal stamp. The wax seal stamp, I feel like a broken record, was also part of the box. And it has uh, the whole box is basically botanical themed so yeah this is gonna go great and I decided to go with white to add an interesting interesting um, contrast is the word I was looking for <laughs> an interesting contrast but like I said you could go with anything I also see on Instagram because I forgot to mention this but I learned this technique or this type of envelope decorating, this style of envelope decorating from Instagram. It's pretty popular over there. If you don't follow me yet on Instagram, definitely do so because I share a lot more things that you might be interested in. I mean, all snail mail related. So hopefully you will give me a follow there as well. Um, but I learned this technique from Instagram from various people. And one of the things people or I have seen a lot of um, accounts do as well as a focus point or the eye catcher is those girl stickers like you have those fashion girls that look very cute fashion girls and then they are the main element of the envelope sorry I keep doing this it's terrible I've, I've gotten better at it but I made this envelope a little while ago and what I did here is I um, simply used a pencil to mark the outline of the stamp because it's square and I wanted it to be perfect so I just marked where the stamp would come so that I knew how much wax to pour and then I'm just adding a couple droplets uh, to add some sort of a playful effect and there you have it so that is the wax seal stamp I I mean obviously normally you would use a wax seal as a uh, way to close the envelope. It's originally made to seal, obviously, an envelope. Um, but I decided uh, to now put it on the front for a special touch. I hope it's arrived. I don't know if this envelope has arrived just yet, but um, yep. And if you're interested in this type or this style of decorating and goodies, definitely subscribe to my channel because the content of this envelope is coming soon as well hello sage that's my cat uh, she's here with me today as well she's sleeping on the same pillow as you can see because i have a quite a busier background i kept the rest of my decorations kind of simple um but you could definitely up this to a level you are comfortable with and you like um, more things you could add are for example little tickets and labels and more stickers and more paper scraps as well then i decided to grab my nouveau drops these are called nouveau vintage drops and i wanted something to tie everything together because i have a lot of green and i have then that one purple pinkish sticky note and i needed something to make that all come together so i'm adding these sort of similar pinkish nouveau drops and some green ones and i think that looks absolutely fab and then of course as you can see i left plenty of space on the top right for the stamps oh my second cat has just arrived oh it's busy here hello noose <laughs> it's been a while since she's been on the camera but um i left plenty of space for the stamps and the address and then i mailed it out to the last two weeks ago actually so I'm hoping it has arrived that was me quickly showing you the projects sneaky peeky so I hope you will stay around for that as well very foggy uh voiceover today but I hope you're all doing well staying happy and healthy and of course devoting lots of time for self-care and writing letters and I will talk to you again very very soon <laughs> wishing you a pleasant day 
from my craft room to yours. Bye!